Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, it is the Tessa and Scott takeover here on The Social. Now, in case you need a recap, they've been skating together for 21 years. get inducted onto Canada's Walk of Fame. It's no surprise that they've captivated the world and they've taken over the social today. So welcome back, Tessa and Scott. Yeah! We're so happy that you're here. Everybody else is as well. But the last time that you were here together, you had just won Olympic gold again. I might add. Uh -huh. uh, now you're on the Thank You Canada tour, which is amazing. And you get to actually thank your fans face to face. And I have to say, Tessa and Scott, many athletes don't get the chance to do that. So tell us a little bit about that and what it means to you to be able to say thank you. We are so fortunate as figure skaters to have that, to be able to perform in these exhibitions, these showcases, and come together with a cast of people that we've really grown up with. We've shared so many special memories with our fellow skaters. And when we were flying home from the Olympic Games, we thought, OK, how do we give back? How can we possibly say thank you to all of those Canadians, coast to coast, who have contributed uh, to the success of our career and who have supported us? Um, in, in such a special way. So this is the best we can do for now, and, and uh, we're <laughs> really enjoying it. It's so nice to get into those intimate venues and, and really connect and, and uh, feel that special bond with, uh, with our fans. Mm. OK, so <laughs> you've also said, you said before, that this tour was a good distraction hmm. from thinking about doing another Olympics. <laughs> so do you still need that distraction or have you started thinking about whether or not you are going to stop skating competitively? I think we need to catch our breath a little bit before we can make that decision. There's not going to be another Olympic Games that go by where we don't wish that we could march in the opening ceremony, and be with our teammates, uh, and be competing. But the reality is we just can't do that forever. And, and Pyeongchang probably feels like the right note to leave it on. Maybe cash our chips in while we're ahead. Um, <laughs> but we're also. We're not in that competitive headspace anymore. We're, we're in this entertainment headspace, and we're really falling in love with it. We love going out as a team with our castmates, the nine of us, and, and entertaining thousands instead of just trying to please the nine judges. Mm. And, and that's, a, that's a big relief for us. And I think it gives us an opportunity as well to, as Tessa talked about, reach out and, and interact with the fans and, and really get to thank them for the years of, of loyal support. It's been pretty fantastic to be in our shoes. So maybe you've already sort of answered this, but what, um, you know, in your sport, you retiring, it's like everyone's so young to, like, retire. And so there's a whole lot of life left ahead of you. So have you thought about what life after competitive skating, maybe even after the tour, might look like? You mentioned the word distraction, and I'm not sure we see this tour as that, but it's been a great outlet for us to sort of fill that void and really invest everything in creating a really special product. And that's sort of the type of people we are. We, we want to be all in, and, and taking on the producer role has been really fulfilling. I love learning about the business side of things, and, and having that creative control as well, I think, feeds a certain part of our souls that maybe we had been neglecting. Um, it's obvious to anyone who's ever watched the two of you on the ice that you have this incredible bond. And I want to read something that you've actually said about that bond. You said, we've worked really hard on communication, done a lot of counseling and therapy, worked with a sports psychologist to be at our best together and communicate effectively and efficiently. I mean, that is uh, basically the type of bond that any, any relationship would strive for. But do you think uh, like this would be a good recommendation, a good approach that you would recommend for any romantic couple or non-romantic couple? <laughs> To entertain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a great question, and, and that's what we always try. When, when we get asked about being a couple, that's what we always steer towards because we're very proud of our relationship and our friendship, but also our, our business relationship over 21 years. I mean, we've been together since seven and nine, and I mean, there's a lot of stages of life that you have to go through uh, adolescence, young adults, um, the pressures of competing at a home Olympics, uh, and, and then kind of being in the spotlight and trying to get back to that Olympic gold, um, kind of doing that all together while going through a whole bunch of personal stuff, you, you need to work on your relationship. And we found comfort in, in a bunch of uh, different professionals. Um, for me personally, I, I really react well to, to working with people who are trained in that field, obviously. And, um, I don't think I'll go, like the rest of my life, I, I will see, and I don't know if it's called counseling, but I'll see my psychologist and, and work through any personal relationship, but it's still something that we have to work on. So I think I will probably use it in my marriage when that happens Love one that. day. Love that. Nice. Yes. So here's something, here's something you probably never expected. 
both of you are nominated for a People's Choice Award for most, <laughs> most worthy Canadian. And you're up against Drake, Ryan Reynolds, Sandra O, oh, and Sean Mendez. You guys are competitive. We've seen this. So who out of those four do you want to beat the most? <laughs> I'm just happy we beat Bieber on the list. Yeah. <laughs> Because he's from, he's from Stratford and I'm from like Gilderton, so it's close. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I just can't believe we're on that I know, list. I, 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 can't, I can't Look at Ice that Dance is taking over. <laughs> what do you, like, I, I mean, just I just, to be. It's, it's so strange to be on that list, but. Um, I mean, here we are in the six. We're so. very thankful, yeah. <laughs> you answer that question. We won't, make, we won't put you on the spot. What we will do, though, is that as much as we enjoy the two of you competing together, skating together, it's about time to put a rift right down the middle of the two of you. So why don't we this actually... This could be the thing. Mm. We're going to play a game that actually pits the two of you against one another. In a Perfect. Little game. Perfect. It's a little game we like to call... Perfect Tens with Scott and Tessa. <laughs> There's three categories, three rounds. Okay. In each of these, you're gonna each have 10 seconds on the clock to name as many things in the category that oh, we give you. Boy. And there's gonna be a clock on there, okay? Are you ready? Scott, okay, you're no. gonna be going up first. Okay. 10 okay, seconds. Ready, on the clock. Okay, ready. okay, here we go. Okay. Name as many figure skating movies as you can in 10 seconds. Go! Okay, Blades of Glory, The Cutting Edge, The Cutting Edge 2. Was there a Cutting Edge 3? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh boy, uh, Ice Princess Castessa was in it. No. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Some that Golden Girls. No, Golden Girls. Uh, I used to watch Golden Girls with my grandma. It's not a... What was the one that you're in? I'm not supposed to be encouraging you, but I said, good job, okay. Okay, so how many? How many? I think that was like three or four. Three or five? Ten seconds. Three. Ten seconds, sorry. Three. Okay, you've got to be three. Okay, so Tessa, name as many figure skaters as you can in ten Elvis Doiko, Patrick Chan, Caitlin Osman, Caitlin Weaver, Andrew Pojai, <laughs> Eric Bradford, Megan Duhamel, um, Brian Orser, Tracy Wilson, Rob McCall, Ooh, uh, <laughs> Shawnee Rochette. Uh, That's a win! <laughs> Tessa, 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 Tessa won round one, yes. but you know what? There's a round two. Scott, ready? Yes. Okay, uh, name as many famous duos as you can in 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, Fred and Ginger, Brangelina. That's a weird one. Uh, oh, gosh, I'm freaking out. Uh, uh, Virtue Moyer, Davis White. I'm just going to do ice dancers. Turtle Dean. Oh, that's yeah, that's five. That's five. That's five. 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 Brangelina. Tessa, no pressure. How do you, how do you okay, we know that uh, Scott is a hockey fan, um, a, f a hockey fan, the two of you, but we can think you can you can handle this. So name as okay. many hockey legends as you can in 10 <laughs> seconds. Go. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, uh, Joe Sackick, Sidney Crosby, Haley Wickenheiser, uh, Bob Yor, um, Mary Lemieux, Maurice Richard. Uh... Yeah! <laughs> That's great. No, no Leafs. She's a Leafs fan and no Leafs. No, uh, okay, no Tessa, Tessa is in the lead <laughs> right now, but this is going to be double or nothing. Get ready oh, for good. this. Okay, so we know you guys love to skate it to a good ballad, so get ready for this. Name as many power ballads as you can. Is this in, me who's you? going for this? This doesn't say. who is uh, Scott. 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 In 10 seconds. Oh, Go. Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Meatloaf. We <laughs> power ballads. A song, song name. No, song I'm go going. I'm just getting there. Oh, okay. Meatloaf is, <laughs> Meatloaf is the band. It's an 80s yeah, band. Oh, you wait. <laughs> That's a zero. Right. Yeah. So do we have to do the last one? Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. So Tessa, all you have to do is beat one. This is for the game. This is for the game. Name as many Canadian pop stars as you can, Tessa. Okay. In 10 seconds, go. Okay. Um, uh, Millie Furtado, sorry. Serena Ryder. You uh, won. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Got it, Tessa. That would be a good game for me. This is what we've learned. You're probably better together. I don't feel good about this. Do not forget, Tess and Scott are nominated for a People's Choice Award airing Sunday, November 11th, 9 p.m. Eastern on E! And if you want to see them at the Thank You Canada Tour, go to our website for ticket information. They are both sticking around. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
Up next, can Mel and Lainey keep up with Tessa and Scott? The Olympians show off their signature workout moves.